now that we're integrating them into the compound, one of the most important aspects is obviously being on display here where the public can see them. And part of that is just getting them introduced and, and used to the big pool that we have. We're going to see if we uh, can take them for one of their very first proper swims. It's going to be a brand new experience for Spot and Stripe, and it could be overwhelming. You never quite know as to how they're going to go for their first time. Good boy. Straight away, Giles can see a difference in how the cubs react to being near the water. Spot is actually much more confident in the water than his brother Stripe. And Stripe isn't so confident sometimes. I just think it's a personality thing. Tigers are the one exception in the big cat family along with jaguars that, you know, really do enjoy the water. Tigers are incredibly powerful swimmers. They have these huge paws that actually when they spread their toes about, this webbing, if you like, in between their toes. So effectively what you've got is you've got this big powerhouse of a, a unit and on the end of their legs they've got these paddles. So in some of the habitat you'll find them, they can island hop from, from place to place or swim across big rivers and, and so uh, water's not a problem for them. Yeah! Woohoo! Stripes still too nervous to take the plunge. He needs some gentle encouragement from Giles. That was incredible, wasn't it? Just how confident were they? Even jumping in the water. Like, they're just natural, aren't they? Oh, these guys are gonna be water babies for sure. Don't jump into the water if you're being chased by a tiger. Or climb a tree. All you gotta do is just run faster than the slowest person in your group, and you'll be okay. <laughs> in fact, the cubs have already started to develop a behavior that you really wouldn't want to face in the wild. Or in the garden, if you're the family dog. They're honing their stalking skills. He's going into the kill. Caesar will bite you. He's got a bone. As young cubs like this, they in instinctively stalk each other and they stalk mum because it's all good training for, obviously, ultimately when they're going to need it they go out on their own in the wild and start making their own kills. 